last week, a new David Harbour interview came out where essentially he confirmed what a lot of us suspected, actually what a lot of us already knew, that Marvel constantly reworks their movies in production and in post-production. So let's talk about it. So a few days back, David Harbour was on Josh Horowitz's podcast, Happy, Sad, Confused, promoting his new film, Gran Turismo. And it was a nice 45 minute long conversation. But right in the middle of it, Josh asks him about Thunderbolts, working with Marvel, what that process looks like. So Thunderbolts, which obviously, again, is kind of in the ether right now. Again, is that in your head right now? Do you have a script to work off of or yeah. like? And David Harbour just kind of gives this like honest answer that's not really trying to throw Marvel under the bus. He's trying to phrase it in a way that actually kind of celebrates something that they value and is part of their storytelling process. But for us as audience members that have some concerns about the story group and their current process, it confirmed all of our suspicions, all the stuff that we thought we knew. He's kind of said, yeah, all of that is very true. So Here's what he said. Right yeah, now. I mean, we were, I think, gonna go. And then I think they did want the opportunity to change some stuff. The interesting thing about Marvel that's so great about them is they they do rework stuff. So earlier in the interview, he'd said that he hasn't actually acted in quite a few months. And so he's asked about the start of production of Thunderbolts. And his answer is, yeah, we were about to start. We were about to start. And uh, well, Marvel, what's great about them is they rework stuff. So they had a script that he was like, cool, that's awesome. I, I dig it. Let's do this. And then they wanted to rework it at the last minute. They, they just kept changing it. They kept tweaking it. And he's about to then use Black Widow as an example of how they really, really do this. Even big production, like Black Widow, the entire third act was reworked as we were shooting, and which is incredible. And so they just want that freedom. So right there, he confirms what, Many of us have been speculating, discussing. There have been tons of reports about the fact that Marvel reworks their movies constantly. They greenlight a script. They start production. They give the director millions of dollars. And then they're like, oh, by the way, we need you to change it. And you get to David Harbour. He's an actor. He wants to keep working and he wants to be able to work on gigantic productions. And he wants like... He's a, he's a guy that just, he's, he got fame old enough that he could actually appreciate having success. So he's like, oh, it's great that they do that. It's amazing. They rework things while you're making Like, do you really think that's amazing? Is that really what you want? Is that you, you sign on for one movie and then they change it mid-production? And the, the big idea of where he's going with this is that they, they want freedom. They want to be able to keep tweaking it and adjusting it. They want the freedom. They want the freedom. Marvel wants the freedom. This is something I've been kind of talking about as my issues with Marvel for about six months now is that the they is in charge of too much. It's not the director. It's not the writer. It's the they. It's Kevin Feige, the writer's room, the people that are trying to map out the future of the MCU. They're hiring people to make a film, to write a film, and then they're constantly changing it. So whoever's the credited writer, who knows how much they actually wrote or whatever thing you hate the most about like quantum mania, they, they might not have written that. Like they might not have anything to do with that. And so that's where a lot of people were like, the guy that was wrote quantum mania was going to write one of the Avengers movies. Like, oh crap, this guy sucks. I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. I don't know the guy. I haven't actually read any of his scripts. More importantly, whatever we saw that he's credited for that's the thing. He turned it in and then they did all this other stuff with it. You know, there's talks about they they asked for 30 rewrites of, of Doctor Strange 2. They did. That wasn't Sam Raimi. Like, I want 32 rewrites. That was the they. So David Harper says, we were in the middle of shooting the third act of our movie. And they came in and reworked the whole thing. The third act is it's CGI, it's spectacle, it's falling from the sky, it's plot twist. It's like the culmination of everything. And last minute, they're like, let's change it all up. So why do some of the special effects in the third act look terrible? This was fun! No! 
Like infamously, some of these shots that just have really, really bad effects. Because they, they kept changing it and adjusting it so it wasn't shot right. They probably asked for revisions in the editing process. And as consequences, when you go into production without being in agreement on the plan, like we're going to do this, there's a, there's a big difference between you shot the movie, you're editing it, and you realize some things aren't quite working, something's not quite clear, so you go back and do standard reshoots. That's, that's good. That's good practice. That's not the same thing as they just want the freedom to constantly rework everything. This is like at the source of the problem of the VFX stuff. Uh, all the rumors about that is that Disney keeps asking for revisions and they keep changing and they keep changing and they keep changing it. And so they're not spending all of their budget and their time to get the original plan shot right. They're doing iteration after iteration after iteration after iteration and changing it. So you're really getting like a rough draft of the eighth iteration or something like that. David Harbour and say like, that's what they want. It's great. They, they like the freedom. <laughs> I know you're being political. I know you're trying to not throw Disney under the bus because you want to keep your job, but it's not great if you start and can't stick to a plan. The director isn't actually directing the film and the writers aren't actually writing the film. They're just changing it constantly. That's not actually great. The script we have is really tight and really great. And our director, Jake, thinks it's great but they just want the freedom. They don't want to be stuck in the middle of a shoot and then having to go like, you know, we can't rewrite this. And that's the piece right there that just kind of blows my mind. One of the stars of the movie says, man, we've got a tight script. The director has a clear vision. He loves the script we have. And our director, Jake, thinks it's great. But as he said earlier, he goes, yeah, they, they wanted to change some things about it. Right yeah, now. I mean, we were, I think, gonna go. And then I think they did want the opportunity to change some stuff. And then he just said, they want the freedom to be able to rework it so we don't have another problem during production. We have to keep reworking, but they just want that freedom. One of the stars who has been working in this industry a long time just said the script is tight. He signed on for this tight script that went like this, this works. This is solid. And the writer's group, the they, keeps tweaking it, keeps changing it. And I think when you look at a lot of these Marvel projects that feel a little bit more committee directed than director directed, I think Wakanda Forever, that feels like a director directed film. Guardians 3, director directed. May, of course, there's no, of course, things like that, but those feel like one vision for the project. But Black Widow, Doctor Strange 2, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, these feel like they were written and directed by committee, where there's all these competing ideas and they keep changing it. And all these projects, there's rumors coming out left and right of constantly reworking the story during production, in post-production, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, having the ending reshot a month before the movie came out. One of the stars of Doctor Strange 2 says that they asked for, they asked for 30 rewrites of the script. That's the reason that my, my faith in Marvel is dwindling. I think that's why so many of these projects just feel so lifeless. Because instead of having like a, a journey that we're on and then trusting different directors and writers to tell that piece in the middle of it, there's just too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks, too many cooks. There's too many people trying to adjust the film to perfectly appeal to everyone while setting up this future thing, but not limiting us too much for future things. So they're just constantly battling over these projects. And so you get just these personality litmus mushes that feel like a bunch of people, different person directed every scene. Everything was reworked by a different aspect. And the, the magic is just kind of gone there when you have movies directed by committee. David Harbour pretty well confirmed that, that it's not the director with the power. It's not the writers that wrote a great script and turned it in that we ran with it. It's the they, the Marvel they has the power and they keep fiddling with things. They keep changing things. And that's 
frustrating. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.